Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Welcome to a new episode in uh, Mini Copper S. Here I start with the left uh, plan. Make sure that you activate the 3D uh, sketch. And I will draw on the left side. As you can see, just two points. Okay, just bend it a little bit, like here. And see from the top. Okay. I will add another spline here. I will start from this point to this one. When you see from the top, you have to make this handle vertical. And you can use M key. The key shot is the, the M, okay. Or the shortcut, the shortcut is the, is the M key. You can zoom in to see the handles, you can activate it. Please, if you are new in the kernel, you can subscribe and uh, activate the clutch to receive more videos. And if you like it, make a thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram and you can find the, the episode 5 and 10 on my website. As you can see here, uh, the errors came when uh, when you make the, the handles. What you have to do here is to just turn the handles vertical, as you can see. Okay. But you can uh, delete the constraint after. Okay, finish your sketch. Hide all the canvas. And use a lot feature. As you can see here, and use the raid as guide I will edit the sketch because as I say to you you have to bend it a little bit what to do here is to delete this constraint and move it just a little bit as you can see here Okay, it's good like this. Let's move on to the next feature. Don't forget to save your file, or you can um, have a bug. Start a new sketch on the left uh, or right plane. Start with the spline from this point. To this one. I will make it tangent. And from the top, just move it a little bit. Now I will add another spline here. Okay. 
as you can see. Start a new spline, just start from here and end it here. See from the top, you have to make this one vertical. Okay, and move this point to have to fit to the blueprint. For the blueprint, I add a tutorial to cut the blueprint with Photoshop. You can find it on my videos to help you to cut your blueprint if you want to make uh, another car. This mini copper you can find it on my website. You can download the 3D if you want to make it, uh, if you want to, to use it. As you can see I can't move it because you have to select the best point here or the right point. As you can see I edit the last sketch. Because with the patch mode you can edit all the features and you have the history of the of the sketches and modify whatever you want Also, the whole thing is alright. You can hide the canvases to see the feature. You can use the patch feature here and select all the uh, all the edges. Okay. Okay. Show the, um, the image or the blueprint and start a new sketch. Start with the last point as you can see and make another point here. You can bend it a little bit. Okay. And another spline here. Just turn your 3D model like this. The second point will be here. And move it with the control controllers. Okay, and move this point. As you can see here. Don't worry about that. Add another spline here. Just look as you can see and find the other sketch. 
don't worry about it because you can move it if you want okay as you can see and from the top you can just turn it or bend it Uh, make this one horizontal move it just as you can see here and you can move also this one I will add another spline here just from here I don't know why I can't snape to this one okay and make it tangent to the first one I will use these like a uh, guide when I make the loft feature. Okay. People, you can find the another uh, tutorial about the, the BMW Z, uh, Z4. You can find it on my channel and um, follow it and learn many things as this uh, tutorial is the same uh, the same practice i'm using the the patch mode not destructive method we can edit each profile each feature And people asking me if you if you can uh, print it, uh, if you can uh, add the uh, thickness to the to the surfaces, you can print it. That's what I think, but uh, you can verify. You have to see this point as as this one okay that's the, the reference okay just move it just move it excuse me just move it like this and see if it's okay What's wrong with that? You can select the two points. I think it's okay. Once you finish all this, you can finish your sketch and hide the canvases you have three profiles here and use the rail or guide like SOLIDWORKS now you can select your profiles and you can guide it with this rail you have just to select the other and you have nice result here okay
it looks pretty good here but um, as you can see here I can edit let's see as you can see here just to to edit this one let's edit the sketch and move it just a little bit as you can see people I will tell you see you in the next episode we will find that we I will find you next week in the same time uh, if you if you like it make a thumbs up and leave me a comment and if you are new in the channel subscribe and make on the clutch to receive more videos thanks and see you